Hello, I'm Hunter Viglin. I'm a sophomore at Archibald High School, and today sitting with me is Archibald softball head coach, Sarah Dominic. Hi. Thank you for um, being here for the interview. Thanks for having me. Okay. So before we get into the current season, I want to ask you a few questions about last season. How are your feelings about last season? How do you think that season went? Um, it was okay. There were definitely some things we probably could have done better, especially on my part, being my first year as a head coach. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, it was a pretty successful year. I think we took some steps forward. Uh, we went 14-9 to nine overall. Mm -hmm. um, so not too terrible. We lost a little earlier in tournament than I would have liked. Uh, but so does so do most teams. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you feel went really good for you last season that you plan on carrying over to this current one? We partway through the season really changed our pregame warm up, kind of our approach to uh, our pregame warm up, and it's a lot more upbeat. Um, we kind of keep the girls moving constantly, mm -hmm. and they weren't so sure about it at first because they didn't get to kind of sit around and chat. Um, there's no downtime, but once we started doing it, they really liked that. And they felt like they were more ready to play. Uh, so that's definitely something that we're continuing this year um, and in the future. All right, awesome. Has there been any staff changes that you think might mm -hmm. impact the season in any way? Um, the staff's the same, except we lost we lost one. We lost um, Coach Jesse Knopfsinger. Mm -hmm. uh, she had her first baby, so she decided that she was going to take <laughs> some time off. Uh, but other than that, everybody's back, so obviously we'll miss her. Um, but other than that, it's pretty consistent. And <laughs> considering it's a new season, I know that you guys have lost a few seniors. Do you think that will affect the season? Uh, it always – every team's different, so you, you lose good people. Um, we'll really miss them. We had a really solid senior class mm -hmm. with uh, Natalie and Ella and Maddie and Bree, um, all four were starters for us the whole season, um, and and big parts of our of our offense, um, offense and defense, but especially our offense. They created a lot of, um, knocked in a lot of runs for us, and so we'll miss that. But I'm looking looking forward to see where our new girls kind of step into those roles. Um, who's going to step up and and kind of replace those um, those seniors? All right. Um, like I just mentioned, I know you lost a couple of seniors. Do you see any underclassmen coming up and possibly playing varsity? Yep, we've got some underclassmen that will get time on varsity. Um, McKenna Thiel and Addie mm -hmm. Kinsman both got time last year, uh, so they'll see some more time this year. Uh, Charlie Forward, who's also a sophomore, she's been playing left for us so far. She's been doing a really nice job. Uh, and then our, our junior class will also get some more time than they did last year now that there's a little bit more room in our lineup. <laughs> All right, awesome. Um, how do you see your team placing in leagues this year? Hopefully we'll be up there towards the top, um, competing with Bryan and Liberty Center and Swanton. Those three teams are, are pretty solid and will be a good challenge for us. Um, I'm hoping that we can compete in those games so that we're up towards the top with them. That is kind of going on to my next question. Are there any players from opposite teams or like any teams that you are – see as like a big challenge that you want to get through all three of those teams will be a challenge for us um none are unbeatable but they will all be a good challenge brian has a a very good dominant pitcher along with a lot of returning starters from last year liberty center has a huge senior class that has been successful in all of their sports um, they have quite a few that play softball and have been three or four year starters for them um, and then Swanton, again, has a very dominant pitcher who's had a lot of success. So those three will be a big challenge for us um, in the league. It's always good to have a challenge. Yep. Um, okay. And for one of my last questions, I just want to ask, what is what are you looking forward to the most? What am I looking forward to? I am really excited to watch our girls kind of grow together and see some of those younger ones step into roles um, and become leaders on our team and really see what they're capable of. Because I know they're capable of a lot. Uh, they don't always see it until they do it. So I, I really enjoy those moments where they have success um, and they start to believe in themselves a little bit more. All right. Well, that's pretty much all I have. Thank you for coming and having this interview with me. I wish you and your team the best of luck this year. Awesome. Thank you, Hunter.